Hello everyone, welcome to our video on the area of a triangle. In this video, you will be learning more about the area of a triangle and how we can calculate it and also learn how to calculate the length of sight when the area of a triangle is given. But first, let's understand the very concept of area. Now, the area of this triangle is a green space inside the triangle. And these can be calculated by three different methods. Okay, so they are the first one, the second one, and the third one. Now, all of these will give you the same answers. These three of them will give you the same answers, okay? But you need to choose which one you think is best for you to work with. But for me, in this video, I'll be using this version, the middle one, to work out the area. Alright, so let's get in straight to the first question. Are you ready? I had someone say yes, let's go! Alright, so let's get into the first question. Here, we got um, the first triangle here, we got the base is 6 centimeters and the height is 3 centimeters. And we got to find the area of it. Now to find the area, you begin first by writing out the formula. The area of this triangle is the base times the height and then you divide this by 2. Now in this case the base is 6 centimeters and the height is 3 centimeters and you divide by 2. Of course you know 6 times 3 is going to give you 18 and 18 divided by 2 this is going to give you 9 centimeters. I'm going to put it here, okay? 9 centimeters squares. So the total space inside this blue triangle is 9 centimeters squared. That was pretty easy, right? And so we come to the second question and I'm going to put a line here just to show the difference between this and the second one. Alright, so let's begin. For this yellow triangle, we got the base of it 5 cm and the height is 4 cm. Now to find the area of this rectangle, I begin first by writing out my formula, which is the base times the height divided by 2. And this time around, the base is 5 cm and the height is 4 cm. And then you divide this by 2. And 5 times 4 multiplied by the top number, you're going to have uh, 20 divided by 2. And if you divide 20 by 2, you have 10 centimeters square. So the total space inside this yellow triangle, the total space is 10 centimeters square. That was pretty easy, right? Good. Let's move on to another set of questions. Now, this triangle, and the first one, a stretched out triangle, has a base of 6.2 centimeters and then the vertical height, 4 centimeters. Then I need to say something about the area. The height should always be at 90 degrees or perpendicular with the base. Now, this 4 centimeters is not the slopey height here, yeah? that's not it. It's actually the vertical distance from the top up here to the top down here okay and that's gonna make angle 90 degrees with the base so now with to calculate the area of the blue uh, shape here space inside here I begin first by writing out my formula so the area of this triangle is gonna be the base times the height of course divided by 2 in this case the base is 6.2 and multiply this by the height, the height, the vertical height is 4 cm. And then you're going to divide this by 2 as well. And if you multiply the top number, 6.2 times 4, you're going to have 24.8. You're going to have 24.8. And of course, divide this by 2. And when you do this calculation with your calculator, you're going to have uh, 12.4 cm. That was pretty easy. So the total space here actually is going to be twenty. That's going to be uh, twelve point four centimeters. 
Good. That was pretty easy, right? Okay, so we're going to move to the next question. But first, I'm going to divide the screen into half. All right, so we go straight to the second question. Now, if you look at this triangle, the three sides of the triangle actually have different lengths. Now, you could imagine this triangle flips left side such a way it sits on the base 3.2 centimeters and the height um, becomes 5.1 centimeters. Now, remember, this sloppy height, 7.3, is not the height. So, I'm going to cancel this out because don't make a mistake of taking height to be 7.3. No, the main height is 5.1 centimeters because it makes a right angle with the base when this triangle is flipped left upside down up. Okay, so we'll begin first by finding the area. Now, the area of this triangle is actually from the formula is the base times the vertical height divided by 2. Here, the base is 3.2 and the height, vertical height is 5.1 and then you're going to divide this by 2. Now I'm going to shift this a little bit to the left so we can have some little space to work. Okay, now if we multiply the top numbers 3.2 and 5.1, you're going to have 16.32, 16.32 divided by 2. And if you work this calculating with a calculator, you're going to have 8.16 centimeters squared. So the total area of the Y space of the triangle is actually going to be 8.16 centimeters squared. I guess you understand this video even better now, right? Good. Let's take one more question. I hope this is going to be the last question. Now, this question is is in a way different from the previous examples we've seen in this video. In this question, you already have been given the area of the triangle because it's given to us as 45 centimeters squared. And I'm just going to show this even more clearly with an arrow to show you. The arrow here already has been given to us as 45. The area here has been given to us as 45 centimeters square we already know that okay all we need to do is to find the height so do you have a clue how we may solve this i guess you're trying to think 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 okay i'm going to give you a few seconds to think how you think we may solve this okay i guess you know what to do okay so i'm going to help you put the thoughts together how we may find this very height. First, we'll begin with a formula which you already know. The area of a triangle is given by the base times the height divided by 2, right? Now, already we know the area because it's given to us as 45, so I'm going to substitute A with 45 and the base by 10 centimeters and multiply their height. Well, we don't know what the value of height is, so we retain H as state H and the height CH. And then I'm going to divide this by 2. All right, so um, the question is how do we proceed from here? Now, one way we could solve this, by the way, this is not the only way, but this is just one I suggest, is to move this 2, okay, up here to multiply 45, okay? So that's going to be 45 multiplied by 2. And I'm going to give you 10 times the height. Of course, you know, if you multiply 45 and 2, that's going to give you 90. And you have equals 10 times the height. Now, the question is, uh, to find the height, height has to be a value that will multiply to 10 to give you 90. Mm, so, what do you think? Yeah, I got it. You said, yeah, I know the answer is 9. Absolutely correct. You're right. Because if you multiply, if you take h, the height to be 9, and 9 times 10, definitely going to give you 90. Definitely, the height is going to be 9 centimeters. All right? So that means the height here, okay, the height of it is definitely going to be 9 centimeters. That was pretty easy, right? 
Okay, so have a great day.